Hello everybody, uh, Dr. Zhang again. Uh, I'm an internal medicine hospitalist and a prior medical researcher. Uh, part of my job is treating COVID patients. Uh, this week, I got 12 patients under my service, and uh, one patient needed intubation, and 11 patients has recovered. Uh, only one patient uh, got a vaccination, and she had recovered pretty good. Uh, I had some time today, so this week, I'm gonna get my uh, boost shot for uh, vaccination. So let me tell you why I want to get it. Um, first, let's talk about how we treat a patient in the hospital. Uh, when patients get uh, COVID, uh, if they are uh, at risk to get worse, if they have underlying disease, before they get uh, uh, serious uh, diseases, uh, we can give them uh, more antibodies. Uh, this is the same medicine President Trump received earlier last year. And uh, that antibody will neutralize um, the small member virus get into the system. When the virus number is small and uh, they were neutralized, you will never develop any serious disease. However, um, when you have a serious disease or you develop uh, low oxygen or your virus number has reached a certain level, the modern antibody no longer works. And a study actually showed that uh, uh, the modern antibody can make the situation worse. Then when the patient comes to the hospital, uh, there is several treatments. Uh, first, we use medicine to inhibit the proliferation of a virus. And uh, in that aspect, we use remdesivir. And uh, apparently, there is other part of the reaction from the body cause serious disease. And actually, the immune system uh, tried to destroy the body. So we had to use uh, steroids to inhibit the immune response. And uh, also, we use a medicine called uh, baricinab in more severe diseases. This medicine suppress the uh, systemic inflammation. And uh, so it looks like uh, when you get a, in a severe disease and when the virus level reach a certain level, it's your immune system trying to de destroy the body, not the virus itself anymore. Um, what about the vaccine can prevent this? You know, look at uh, all the vaccine previously. You know, we have in human have used the uh, vaccine for years and years, decades. So look at uh, a lot of uh, vaccines uh, has a lifetime immunity, like uh, uh, rubella, like uh, uh, measles, mumps, and hepatitis B. Uh, when you get the vaccine, even 10, 20 years afterwards, you still have a strong uh, circulating neutralizing antibodies. So when the virus comes to your system, uh, the neutralized antibody uh, effectively destroys the virus. And before you have a lot of virus replicating in the system, you are cured. So you never get a disease. Uh, what about like a COVID and uh, you antibody deteriorating, you still have a memory cells. What happened to that? A lot of research has done from the memory uh, cells in the past. And look at, uh, in this situation, we we'll look at uh, uh, influenza A virus. Um, when you get the uh, influenza vi uh, vaccine uh, in about six months, your antibody, circulating antibody level uh, start dropping, but your memory cell still exists. But uh, roughly about a year after that, uh, your memory cell start disappearing. So then you will be vulnerable for another episode of infection afterwards. The same situation happens with the COVID uh, vaccine. So, you know, after six months uh, of the Pfizer vaccine, we see the circulating antibody start deteriorating uh, quickly. But the memory cells seem to be still strong. We don't know, you know, how long the memory cell will last, but it probably will be longer than the influenza. The main reason is that uh, we use a lot of antigen in the vaccine. So we have a very higher, a very high immune response uh, with generating a higher level of antibody. So presumably the memory cell will last longer, but there's no guarantee that the memory cell will last more than uh, one year. Uh, there is another consideration, and uh, which is uh, uh, the response from the memory cells. You know, after your circulating, uh, circulating antibody disappeared. Uh, when the virus into your body, 
the memory cell had to be activated and then they start um, proliferate. Um, in that previous research, it looks like it takes for four to seven days for the memory cell to be activated. But look at the uh, infection itself. So average people um, from the you know, beginning of you have contact with the virus to the symptoms start and the median time is four to five days. And at that time, we already had a significant amount of a virus. And even four or five days, some people will have low oxygen. Some people already has lung damage. Uh, for these people, if the antibody started producing from the memory cells, it may be too late. And uh, if we have to learn from monoantibodies, monoclonal antibodies, in this situation, the antibody may not even help, actually make it worse. Um, so as a result, I think that uh, we should get the booster shot uh, if there is a, a chance for you to get it. That's why I will get my shot uh, this week when I get some uh, time. Uh, this is my personal view and uh, you can look at the uh, literature yourself and uh, verify my uh, uh, state effects. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Bye.